Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Hello and welcome everyone to what's hopefully a new short Let's Play. The photo is right there. Maybe I could have another look. I'll look at it in a minute. Hold your horses. Anyways, I'm playing this game for the first time. This game is Serena. And I'm... I don't know, I'm gonna play this blind. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll play it up, maybe I won't. But yeah, let's look at the photo. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors, laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. I really do have to say that I really like the art of this. My love. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> this is supposedly a horror game, too. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. I'm hoping there's no jump scares or anything too much because I'm recording this late at night. <laughs> I don't care to scream in the middle of the night and wake up my family. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love. Okay. Okay. Done with your love. Serena enjoyed spice in our life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. Hmm. Well, anyways, this is more of a point-and-click kind of thing. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Mm -hmm. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. Yeah, it's just basically sitting here, looking around. Uh, this used to be her favorite spot. She used to sit here, put her legs on the table, lean back, and just give me one of her smiles. Those effervescent, incandescent smiles. I actually really love the voice acting of this, but yeah, I gotta click on things a few times to apparently get the full story out. Um, I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing, but we'll see how this goes. Once, we dragged these chairs out to the lake and scrubbed off all the dust and grime of years. That was a long time ago. You make something sound so boring sound so... less boring, I don't know. <laughs> For all the charm of furniture like this, something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of brooding. Okay. Let's see what this spice is. Sometimes says. she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was. Or is. I just don't know anymore. Was I pointing to the table or to the spice? I don't even know. You always put too much salt in, dear. Think about your pressure. I guess it's a general area. She always worried about my diet. I used to think she did it to annoy me, but now... Yep, guilty as charged. I <laughs> love salt. <laughs> It emphasizes the taste a lot, and, and those crispy snacks. Oh, I don't blame you, buddy. I like salt way too much, too. Hmm. Anything else? Not the healthier type, just regular table salt. That's fine. Whatever does the trick. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think that's a good saying. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. 
to be honest. I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Oh, do tell. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Mm. That's good. Our dining table. Okay. Quite okay. modest. No, I, I, I don't want to hear the same thing. One of a matching pair. Obviously. There was a piece of gum stuck to the underside of this chair back when we bought this place. We just left it there. Yeah. Really? I, I don't even like when I go into my class and if I see gum, like just all over the seat. Which I do tend to see that. But, uh, I don't know with you people. For all the charm of furniture like no. I could tell plenty of stories no. about this table. No, fuck your table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Just get up. Just get up. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I should have looked up, maybe. Uh, let me see what's... Is there anything up? I guess let's check over this corner first, actually. This would be better. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. Hmm. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. Mm. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. Books are good. I love reading. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Most of the books are mine, but all okay, of hers are okay. still here, too. Okay. Yep. There. A lot of rarities and special editions here. The Art of Drowning, huh? Uh, sorry, but these books look like kind of boring books. But I wouldn't have read. Just... So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Huh. The design on this chair looks like the design the photo. The background. I thought that was a wall. I guess not. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. <sighs> My memory's worse, I'm sure. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. Putting her hand under my shirt. Okay, now you're giving me a little too much information there. I, I don't want to hear it. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. What am I playing? The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. Oh, what am I playing? Why do I feel like this thing's gonna scare me? I don't know. Just kind of. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. God. Truth be told, not all the cooking she did was a resounding success. We agreed to never attempt doing ravioli again. How do you mess up ravioli? What? Why did she... I, I shouldn't ask. I, I just used the post packet things when I make it. <laughs> you silly dolt. Here, give me that. Don't be such a child. I 
think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the pilgrims. Hmm. That's interesting. It belongs in a museum. An archaeologist could excavate the layers of food forever welded onto this and learn about the days when other beings ruled the earth. <laughs> I think it dates from the colonial okay, era, okay. probably brought over okay. by the pilgrims. Go, let's just, can, can I point that way, thank you. I could go outside. But not yet. Wait a minute. Did I just see the thing change? No. Okay. Fuck that picture then. Let's go this way. Oh god, I'm gonna hear worse stuff. I'm just gonna... Let's ignore the bed a bit. I don't really need the details. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. So in closets lead you to thinking of skeletons in the closet? Okay. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Oh. Well, of course, if she used this more than him, then she has more memories of her inside. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. I'll drop it. I'll be nice. She used to keep magazines, paperback novels, usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. Staying here, don't you? Uh, um. Good night, love. She would always bring her reading material like I did. Why are these nightstands so empty? Dust everywhere. The amount of dust on it might make me hack up a lung. Mm -hmm. I feel you there. <laughs> it's full of little scratches and gouges. Of course. Dust. Everywhere. Okay, okay, I don't want to hear about dust. That's Our it. refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Oh, I was just... I thought... Oh, okay. I... I... Sometimes, we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods, because that's how our sex life was. Far out. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> I don't want to hear about their sex life. <sighs> the furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her, there are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I'm not checking under the bed. I feel too restless to sleep right now. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. Hmm. There are no monsters under okay, the bed. Okay, okay, I'm not checking. It's I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. I don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothes in here. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest okay, inside the closet okay. anyway. I'll be nice. I just wish we